USM's NCS4 program reached an international agreement where they will provide security training for the World Cup in 2022. Corey Howard explains. Approximately 1.5 million people from around the world plan to attend the World Cup in Qatar in 2022, meaning security needs to be on their P's and Q's. So it's a high impact event, probably the highest in the world. And so uh, this training is really critical. Recently, USM's NCS4 program and Interpol reached a training agreement with Qatar, saying programs will provide security training for staff members who plan to work the World Cup. Well, we'll probably be training about 35 commanders uh, for six different courses. Courses that focus on leadership, communication, evacuation plans, and crowd management. The training for the World Cup will start in January at the top of the new year and will last a total of 14 months. So through Interpol, uh, we were selected to uh, lead the way for Qatar, and uh, we're really excited. USM caught the eye of Interpol nearly three and a half years ago due to the good security provided at their own events. Now the school looks forward to stepping up on an international platform in just four years. Well, the people need to know that uh, here it is uh, 2018, and here we are training now for 22. And so that those who want to go to the World Cup game in uh, Qatar, that, that they're going to be safe. Now the World Cup will make its way to North America in 2026, and the Olympics will follow in 2028, making its way to Los Angeles. And USM hopes to be a major part in both of these trainings. Corey Howard reporting from Hattiesburg, Twin States News. By the way, 32 nations will be in attendance at the World Cup. More than 64 more games will take place eight different venues.